Shalom, everyone. The stories that later on had the biggest impressions on me from my childhood were the stories my parents shared about themselves. Not necessarily about great-grandparents in the family, ancestors from many years ago, or even from great sages, but there are mainly stories about what happened to my parents themselves, where life led them, the journeys they took. Not necessarily exactly the scenarios they went through, but what transpired within them and how they grew and specifically their relationship with, with Hashem, with themselves, how they related to God in a deeper way and how they related to their own life's mission in a deeper way. Those are the stories that when they shared with me, I felt, I felt utmost connected to them. So in our parsha, the last parsha of Sefer Bamidbar, Eile Masa Ibn Yisrael, we're reminded of all the journeys that Am Yisrael took while we were wandering in the desert. 42, comes out to 42 wanderings. 42 Masaot. And in Hebrew, the word 42 is the gematria, the word Bam. 42, Bet and Mem. So we have a very interesting pasuk that we know since we're very little and we, we give this on to our children at a very young age too. Veshinamtem levanecha vedibarta Bam. That when you give over Torah to your children, vedibarta Bam. Bam can mean you speak to them, to the heart of them. The way we learned it this week is vedibarta Bam is that you give over a taste of your own 42 journeys. The way to really, really give over to our children what it means to have a relationship with Hashem is what kind of a relationship I had from journey to journey in my life. Eilu Masai B'nei Yisrael, Eilu Masai Abba, Eilu Masai Ima. These are the journeys of Abba, of Ima, of mother and father. This is the real Shinun, this is the real learning that our children want to hear about more than anything else that's out there. And this is the time as we're once again being reminded of the Churban Abayit and getting excited and anticipating the coming of Mashiach Tzidkenu. It seems that a redemptive relationship between parents and children is when parents go there to that place and share with their children what life was like. Not necessarily go and tell your child everything you ever did, but who you became, where you were strong, where you were weak sharing your masa with your child. So Bezrat Hashem, we should have a strong, strong, strong Shabbos of Eilam Masa Ibn Yisrael, a strong Shabbos of Eshinan Tamla Manecha, Medibar Tabam. We should be privileged to learn how to talk and how to teach our children.